Hello and welcome to this presentation on how to avoid local maxima when running latent class analysis in M+. So here I have an eight class classical latent class analysis model. You can see that from the fact that I specified classes C8 and I have categorical indicator variables U1 through U12. So I have 12 items and I specified analysis type equals mixture. So then M plus knows this is going to be a classical latent class analysis. Now when I run this model with eight classes with the default settings of M plus, I want to show you what we get in that case. When we take a look at the output file, first of all, everything looks normal. And then in the specifications here, you can see that M plus uses only 20 random starting value sets in the initial stage of the optimization. And then in the final stage, M plus uses the four best solutions from the initial stage. So only 20 random starting value sets to begin with, and then only the four best ones from the first stage are being used with um, a setting for initial stage iterations of 10. So that is a setting that might be fine if you have few classes like two, three, four, maybe five classes and well-defined solutions, this might do the trick. But for an eight class model, that's probably often not going to be sufficient. And so how do you see that? How do you see that this may not be sufficient? So let's take a look at the output that comes later. And here you can see the ranking of the random starts result from results from the best to the worst log likelihood value. So the best or highest log likelihood value appears here at the top. And you can see that was found for um, starting value set number six that resulted in the best overall log likelihood value. And that's the solution that M plus will, will then use and will report. However, you can see here too that this wasn't replicated. So the next best one is different. The next best one was found for starting value set number 10. And it was a worse log likelihood value, at least slightly worse. And then the other two were even worse than the best one or the best two. So those last four that were used by M plus are all different and that's not good. So you want to make sure that your best overall log likelihood value that appears here at the very top of this list, that this is being replicated several times. And that's also uh, something that M plus warns you about. You can see here in the warning message, it says the best log likelihood value was not replicated. The solution may not be trustworthy due to local maxima. Increase the number of random starts. So you have to be careful. This is really, you can't trust the solution. This might be a local maximum because the best log likelihood value was found only once and it was um, 90, negative 90, 19. So that may not be the best solution. So how do you do it? Do that then? How do you increase the number of starts? How do you override the M plus default for the number of starts for a latent class analysis, which here you have to do. If you don't do that, you might end up with an invalid solution. So let's take a look at how this is done. And so this is separate input file here. So in that situation, you want to increase the starts and that's done in the analysis command with the starts option. The starts option allows you to increase the initial stage starts. In this case, I increased the initial stage starts to 100. And remember, those were only 20 by default. So I increased that to 100. And then also, I increased the final stage starts to 10 so that the 10 best will be picked from the initial set of 100 and then we have a greater choice. We can look at more solutions and see if they converge in the best log likelihood value. So let's take a look at what you get for that um, extended input file. When you run more starts, what does it look like? So now you can see here in the specification that the random start specification has been changed from one from 24 to 110, so that's more. And you might have to increase it even more. So I often use 500 in the initial stage and then 50 or 1,100. So you, could, you have to increase it if you're not sure or if it doesn't look right. 
So let's take a look at the list now. Now you can see that the best log likelihood value is different from the one that we found previously. It's better. It's a better log likelihood value of negative 9014. So that's a different solution than what we got before. And it's been has been replicated four times or three times. So a total of four times we found this log likelihood value. Now M plus warns you that this may still not be enough. And so here you get this message that says the best log likelihood value has been replicated, rerun with at least twice the random starts to check that the best log likelihood is still obtained and replicated. And that's a good idea. So you might want to increase it now to 220 and see if you still get that same solution or even beyond that. Now, of course, even if you replicate it again. It may not mean that this is the best solution. You can see there's some other error message here that you might also have to uh, attend to. And I'll talk about that error message in a separate presentation. But at least you want to be sure that this isn't a local maximum. And that's what you can do. Or you can do that by increasing the number of starts. Now, another thing that helps is to increase the initial stage iteration. So in M plus, the initial stage iterations are set to a maximum of 10. You can see that here, number of initial stage iterations, 10. And increasing those can also help avoid local maxima. So how do you do that? Let's take a look at that input file as well. So then you can add that additional option, ST iteration. So here, for example, I increased the initial stage iterations from 10 to 50 in addition to increasing the number of starts. And that is something that I have found to be very helpful in my own work for avoiding local maxima as well. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Check out the description below for more workshops on statistical analyses. And if you have any ideas for what you, like to, what you would like to see discussed on this channel, then please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you next time.